What's up, YouTube? It's MR2 here. Uh, we'll get into the solar generator again. We've been getting a lot of questions on how I did it and everything. And I, I'll be honest, I just, I mean, I just did it. I, I never drew anything on it. So I've been sitting here, you know, most of the day. Well, did a little bit of it on Saturday, a little bit messing with it Friday, too. So, But I, I'm trying to draw a schematic on it, you know, and figure it you're going to have to do one outlet at a time and I need to make sure let everybody know man if you go messing with your panel make sure you turn that breaker off there that main breaker and even when you do that them two right there above it they still hot they will still get you I mean y'all have no idea what happens if you get hold of one of these things and I don't recommend anybody mess with inside this panel that don't know what they're doing at any rate, if you do, this is, I mean, sometimes wires come up from the floor, some of them come through the attic. Some of them do both. My house, I got a concrete slab, so the, all my wires come in through the attic. And they go down, and they just, like I say, take one breaker at a time. You just figure out which breaker it is, which one it is, you do each circuit at a time. There's three wires coming down from the attic. One wire, usually the black one, goes into the breaker. Then a white one will come over and get this bus bar back here in the back, which is a ground bar. And then it's the, the, the naked copper wire, usually it hits this bus bar on this side, on the right. But actually, they're the same, they're the same bus bar. They connect it to the same ground wire. What you end up with, you got two of these 110 volt legs, and then a major ground both sides so you just take those three wires are loose all three of them all the grounds and the, and the hot wire and add to them which I use the 12 3 of grounds you know because I ain't making no long run they're just going right here 12 plenty big for all this in fact I haven't had any trouble whatsoever there's going to be a lot of people tell you oh you can't do all this and that and the other well it's been sitting here three years like this so it has my battery bank and everything else. At any rate, you know, well, to clear that up, you, you you know, a car, under the hood of your car, you got a battery, fuel lines, electricity, mufflers, red hot pipes, and everything all run in one wad together. You're supposed to keep all your flammables and explosives in one compartment outside. So that's where I got it, at any rate. You take your wires and loose and add to them, and like I said, you can bring them over here and make your big tails out of them. That'd be this yellow wire here. That's coming from my shed out back. And that breaker is right there. So I, you know, I took the wire, I found the wire that comes from the shed, took it out of that breaker, took the other two ground wires and loose, added all three of them together. And added another one all the way over here and hooked them back into that. So I just kind of did that on this schematic drawing. The yellow wire represents the one coming from the attic, and I didn't split that up because it's going to get you know, complicated if you don't do but one at a time. At any rate, there's three wires in that coming down. You add to that, bring it over, and make you a pigtail up. Now, what you got to take out of your panel, you take one that black wire back out of the, the breaker and then you need one uh, ground off of one side and, and a naked ground off the other. I could put the white wire so I just used blue on this schematic. And you'll run those three wires over and hook it to that right to that, that bottom outlet. And again, you have to make sure that you break that little tab off right there on that outlet. If you don't break that off then you're going to short circuit both sides of it and uh i'll post pictures on the on the video and if anybody wants them uh just pm me your your email address and i'll be glad to send you the the file that way you can make your own copy of it or what uh, i also did a, did a little schematic on the battery bank and how you tie that together too you know, you have to keep the flow, try to keep the flow in and out across the whole bank, even. But at any rate, that, you know, that's a different. We'll look that up, make another video on that whole deal, too. But I got that draw, too. 
again, I had said I had never drawn any of them, so if there's anything you see, I might could change or whatnot or help anybody out, so let me know. And I sure will be glad to do it, man. Do all I can. Really, I mean, you know, it is a little complicated. I ain't gonna tell you no lie, but once you get started, like I said, you take your time. You do one at a time. And that way, you know, if you get tired of messing with them, then you, you know, you, you, you only gotta finish that one tonight. You turn that thing right back on, keep working right like it's supposed to. There's another good reason I did this, cause, you know, with four solar panels out there and I need 15, then I'm not able to run all this every bit of it at one time. You know, the batteries will keep it up, but nonetheless, you know, you don't lose charge as, you know, you don't have enough input from outside. So, I mean, as I build my solar system over the next few years, then I'll be able to more plugs I'll be able to add to completely, fully, all the time. But again, you know, when you got that panel open right there, you're supposed to have all this turned off. You don't need to be messing with none of this without, without killing all the power. I ain't got it turned off because I ain't messing around in it, but just showing y'all what it looks like. Nonetheless, if there's any more questions, I'm sure glad, you know, I'm going to try to make videos and answer the questions that take care of a lot of, a lot of everything at once. And uh, if there's anything else, like I said, just let me know. Peace, love. I go heads up.